We are tracking a consumer alert right now at 5 o'clock. Sony says the data breach of its PlayStation network was in no way an amateur attack. In a letter just issued to the House Commerce Committee, Sony says it was a carefully planned, professional, and highly sophisticated effort. Scammers got credit card data, email addresses, and other personal information from nearly 100 million accounts. Tonight, our cyber expert says there may have been yet another layer to the sinister nature of this attack. Consumer reporter Kristen Miranda shows us what that is. Security researchers have been combing hacker forums where the bad guys hang out. There's a little bit of bragging going on that the hackers, who seem to know what they're talking about, are holding the data ransom. So they actually have people's personal information, credit card data, and they're holding it and they're holding out for somebody to pay them for it. Cyber expert Teresa Payton says these hackers allegedly approached Sony, asking for $100,000 to give the company the information back. Already, it's well known hackers steal and sell info, usually to other bad guys. They'll sell it anywhere from 50 cents to $4 per person's record. Patrick Redden heard about all of this from Teresa. That's just wild. I mean, honestly, it's a. Uh... I mean, a hostage situation for data is just uh, unbelievable. It's kind of scary, honestly. Just like the rest of us, he's looking for the silver lining in a world where anyone can access and misuse data that is so personal to you. Teresa says there is good news. You have protection through your credit card company. But it is also vital that the password you would use for something like online gaming is nothing like a password you would use for banking or other sensitive information. Just expect and always be ready that whenever you turn your data over to anyone online, you need to have a plan in advance and think if this were ever compromised, what would I do? Patrick's plan? It's because you just really need to understand what, they're, what you're really agreeing to. So he'll really read those privacy warnings he's agreeing to online. Kristen Miranda, WBTV, on your side. All right, the word of the week is name fail, a techie term used mainly in social media. So, for example, there's an apartment complex called Crappy, and on social media it comes out as Crappy Apartments. Um, probably not the greatest brand recognition that you want. Um, a very recent example of this, though, is the name slip-ups that the media has been having between Obama and Osama. Yeah, that's a name fail. There's more information about all of this on protecting your cyber turf page on WBTV.com. One week.